All right, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome everyone to another e-call. We have a very special guest today and we can't wait for you to meet her and get to know her better. You're probably seen her working at the booth on the sound and doing stuff around EC, but today you're going to get to know her better. Please introduce yourself, tell us your name, your hobbies, what you like to do, your age, what's your career goals. Go ahead. Hi EC fam, I'm Carla and Cameron. I am 23 years old. I just graduated from Tyndale University with a degree in psychology. And so what I love to do in my spare time is read a whole bunch of books. Um, sometimes I do some music things, but um, mostly I'm an introvert, so I stay inside and just read books. So All yeah. right. I'm an introvert myself too, so I can relate to that. But tell us, what do you like to read? What, what are your favorite type of books? Uh, so right now I'm sort of in like, you know, Start to be a typical girl, but a romance literature right now. So. All right, all right. Um, but uh, it has changed over a couple of years. It's been historical. Um, it has been sort of like sci-fi sort of things. But I That's guess as cool. I get older, my genre of literature changes. So we'll yes. See. And you mentioned you like doing music. Do you play any instruments? Do you sing? Uh, I will say my former years. I have okay. <laughs> sang, so like in high school, I was on like the choir and stuff like that. Um, and I learned guitar in high school as well. Um, I played the keys a little bit. My mom was gracious enough, like Alicia Keys was my favorite artist growing up. So she, <laughs> <laughs> but okay. at the age of 13, my, my birthday present was to like learn how to play the piano. So um, I'll say I play a little bit of instruments, but I'm not, you know, the greatest musician. So oh, That's so cool. That's so cool. I love it. I love it. You gotta, you gotta get your pipes out and sing for us a little bit, but maybe not today, but another day. We'll, we'll save it. We'll wow. save it. Don't worry. But I have that's to go so to cool. Sister Sarah first, you know. Sister Sarah has to help me. I have to go to Sister Sarah. She's gonna help me, you know, before I yes, go. Yes, for sing. sure, for sure. We'll connect you with it. But okay, so tell us, what are your career goals? Like, I know you just you just finished university. What are your career goals? What are you preparing yourself for? So currently, right now, I'm in the as a transition um, phase, like I've always wanted to be a lawyer growing up, but okay. as of recently, or I would say like the last three years of my undergraduate, I've sort of been feeling like a pull towards counseling because my um, undergraduate is in um, psychology. So right now I'm still trying to, in like the woodworks trying to sort it out, like right. God, you know, law or counseling. And then just seeing how right. everything is going in the recent days, I know that there is going to be a need for psychologists or like counselors and therapists. Yes with everything that's happening. So um, I'm just right now just seeking God about where to go. Um, Decision making. That, so. All right, that's so cool. I know that whether you choose psychology, counseling, law, you're going to do great. You're going to do amazing. So, okay, Caroline, thank you for sharing a little bit about yourself. Now we're going to play a game here and you've probably seen it on social media, uh, the this or that game. And I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions, this or that. You have to choose one or the other. Uh, and I want you, don't think about it. Just whatever pops up to your to your mind first, you say, it. go with your gut. Okay. If you think about it, you're probably trying to please the crowd. So just tell us exactly what's coming, this or that. Okay. Cookies or cake? Cookies. Cat or dog? Dogs. Now there's a three one here. Tea, coffee, or hot chocolate? Hot chocolate all day. Oh, man, you got to <laughs> say coffee. Coffee is the right answer. Early riser or night owl? Night owl. Text message or call? Call. Summer or winter? Summer all day. Come on. Book or movie? Movie, definitely. All right. Uh, Facebook or Instagram? Facebook, old school. iPhone or Android? There's only one right answer here. Oh, it's come Android. on. I know the easy mm. time is all iPhone, but I'm sorry, mm. guys. I'm the only one who's Android. And now here is the last one. What's worse, laundry or doing dishes? <laughs> um, probably doing dishes. Laundry, you just put it in the washing machine and you're, you do whatever for the rest of the day. <laughs> That's so true. Well, although our answers are probably very opposite, congratulations. 
You pass. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Now, we're approaching the Christmas season, and you're not a teenager anymore, or you're not a, a child anymore, but everybody likes a good Christmas present. Yeah. Okay. If you could choose, and hopefully your mom is watching this, what would you like for Christmas this year? Ah, uh, what would I like for Christmas? Ooh, that's a that's a tough question. To be honest, what I would like for Christmas is warmth. Um, that warmth? Is, like you warm. would like to go. Like I you want would it like to be warm. To yeah, I want it to be warm outside. You know, I, I I'm not too. I'm not a big fan of the cold. Right. So, but yeah. It, it's it's like hard a, to say. Huh? So the best thing we can do since we can't travel, we can do a Hawaii themed Christmas party. Ooh. Um, so that can feel go. warm in the heart but not warm outside. <laughs> Wait, will that will that do? That will do. I'll go to the dollar store, get some like sand and put it on the ground. Please and turn please. the heater on like real high. Invite me to your Hawaii Christmas party at home. I know you're probably gonna have some of that. Uh, ox doll that you've been promising me, which I need to have in my life. All right. So mm -hmm. since we're getting to know you here and the EC community is watching this, what's the most Carlan thing there can be? Or what's one word that describes you perfectly that like your friends and family will say, this is Carlan? Ah, uh, um, I'll probably say sarcasm. Uh -huh. I am. It seems as if I was born with a dose of sarcasm. I like asking. Oh no, I'll say my family would definitely be like <laughs> I like asking questions. So like they yeah. they say something and I'll ask the total opposite of what they say just so that they can get somebody else's viewpoint. I'm like, really? Are you sure? What if this happened? And they're like, oh. really? Like you had to make it difficult. I'm like, everyone like, <laughs> <laughs> so, like knows me. Questioning. Knows. I get a question a lot. I, I I can agree with something, but I always pose the opposite side just to stir the conversation a bit. <laughs> so. so anybody out there, if you're having doubts about what you're doing, contact Carla. She will make you doubt it even more. <laughs> she will make sure you doubt it even more. But she can help you out asking the questions that maybe you're afraid to ask yourself. There's a good friend you can have right here so carla you've told us a little bit about yourself you're told us a little bit about uh you know what your career goals are but now i want you to share with us something funny that happened to you <laughs> something funny like make us laugh here like i know um, it can be embarrassing or something that happened to you in the past that you're like man i was laughing my head off with this uh, <laughs> <laughs> see like i can't like it's like Oh, it's going to be embarrassing, but I can't really think of anything else apart from, okay, let's just put this in there. This happened right. way, way, way back. Now I'm 23. Okay, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to put that in there so, you know, they don't think I did this recently. Okay, uh, okay. So I remember <laughs> in my younger days, I was taking the bus and I was trying to reach home. So. It was like sort of the first time I was seeing the bus by myself mm -hmm. and my mom came off before me. So I was like in my mind, okay, my body's talking to me saying, Carla, we need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm like, we're good. We're about two stops away or so from home. <laughs> and <laughs> what happened was I came off at the wrong stop. <laughs> so I came off at a stop. I came off at a stop, like one stop before my stop. So I had to walk an extra mm -hmm. like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Plus my home was like 15 minutes away from the actual bus stop. Okay. So I'm walking, I'm walking and I'm like, oh Lord. <laughs> like, like, I'm like, I really need to go here. And I'm, so I'm walking real quick and fast. And I was, I was like just about to turn the corner, but like two minutes away from my home. And let's just say, my bladder couldn't, it couldn't hold <laughs> any longer. So, so I went, I, I, I just, I just went in my pants. <laughs> Tell us the truth, Caroline. This happened last week. Tell us the truth. No. <laughs> hey, if it happened, if it happened, was it raining last week? Because 
I could say it happened last week if it was raining because then I could just say the rain just wet me up. Oh, and okay, I, was just okay. like, I just okay. got wet in the rain. But the sad part about it was that it wasn't even raining outside when this happened. <laughs> and I was just hoping that no one saw me because I was like, I have no excuse as to why. Thank my goodness you were close to home. That's that that's embarrassing and that's funny. Oh, oh my god. I can't so, believe it. Yeah, but EC fam, this happened when I was really young, guys. Um no, really, no really shame. Young. No shame. But no stay shame. stays in the call here. It happened a long time ago. You're a brand new girl. It's under the blood. It's yeah. cover. I get. I am changed. The Lord has changed me so much over the years. Worked up a miracle in your life. Gave you a new yeah. bladder and everything. Amen. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. That's funny. Thank you for sharing that. I hope everybody's laughing while they're watching this. And now yeah. we're just going to transition here to uh, a little bit of a more of a serious question. Um, yeah. Now here's an interesting question. If I gave you fifty thousand dollars today. Okay. Uh, to start up a business, mm. what kind of business will you start? Uh, the business that I would start is, I, how do I put this? This sounds very much like Shark Tank. But <laughs> I know. What, what will you do with it? I, I can be I, like Mr. Wonderful. What, yeah. What will um, you do with $50,000? $50,000. I I think most likely I would invest in other small businesses or start a business like a restaurant or something in which I can hire people so mm -hmm. that they can um so I can basically mentor and help them like whether they're immigrants help them transition awesome. into Canadian culture um or if they're just people who needs a help in life so I can help them build on their own personal skills that they have so that they can become a better individual for their family, for themselves, for the community. So, mm. um, yeah, basically, it'd be like a, a family restaurant or just invest in my mom's business and I love get it. That fully off the ground so that we can help people. Um, I'm in the business of helping people and helping people become better. That's amazing. I so, love it. Um, definitely that. I love it. So if anybody has 50,000 spare, reach out to Carla Ann. She's got the right mindset. Carla Ann, thank you for being with us. Um, I want to ask you a question to close off here. Mm -hmm. um, and anybody out there in the EC community, please comment. Let her know how much you appreciate Carla Ann. Let her know how much she means to us. She's a wonderful young lady and she's doing great things, not only her career, but also in the church. Carla Ann, mm -hmm. give us an advice or something that you feel that God's been telling you that you would like to share Uh, with our EC community, some like an advice, a Bible verse, or a word of encouragement, just anything that God has been uh, dealing with you or sharing with you that you would like to share with us? Um, definitely. I I will say the only word that is a word that's coming to my mind right now is focus. And it was something that I was, a friend and I were having um, a reading on Nehemiah last night, and we were just talking about focus. And how it's important as Christians that we focus on the things that God has called us to do mm. and not being distracted by people or the the masses in that sense, right. because there is a purpose for your life and there's a vision that God has given each and every one of us. And in order for us to, to basically accomplish that, we have to focus on his word and basically being firm in the faith and trusting God. And just, yeah, just being firm and trusting God and trusting his word and knowing that regardless of the obstacles that come while you're focusing on your path and the purpose that he has for you, know that his plans for you are always good. So whether it. it's a, a low season in your life, know that God's going to get you through it. Um, you know, and David said, it, you know, morning um, endures for a season, but joy comes in the morning. So nothing is permanent right now. <laughs> Um, it, well, in this temporal world, nothing is permanent. It's just, it's seasonal. So just stay focused on the purpose that God has placed in your heart. You know, say no to the distractions, be firm and strong in the faith and know that nothing is temper, um, is permanent, but it's all temporal mm -hmm. and God is on your side. So that's so awesome. Thank you, Carlin, for sharing that with us. That's such a powerful word. Look at you, like preaching the word of God. Powerful. Amazing. I love it. Stay focused, people. Stay focused on what God called you to do. Thank you for watching our e-call. 
today. And I, we can't wait to see you on Wednesday nights, Sundays. Uh, God's doing amazing things. God's behind you. God loves you. Thank you, Carla. And I hope you have a great week. And thank you for sharing a little bit about yourself. You're welcome. Thank you, Pastor Mathea, for having me. It was fun being in the hot seat today. Hopefully, it's going to be your turn soon. So, <laughs> Hopefully, someone can do me. All right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great week. Five, okay. four, Bye. three, two, one. And we're out. <laughs>